Let's learn how to use the ammeter function of NIMIDAG. Anytime you use the ammeter, pay attention to this maximum specification. Do not subject MIDAC to more than one amp of current. All right, I have MIDAC connected to an incandescent light bulb. Over here I have the DMM side connected as an ammeter. I have the 5 volt supply and the digital ground connected to a 5 volt incandescent light bulb. And the bulb is on at the moment, being subjected to 5 volts from my DAG. Let's go ahead and measure the current through that 5 volt incandescent light bulb. Pay attention to the proper settings again, or proper connections for your DMM probes. You can choose to either specify a range, the default is one amp range, or you can choose one of these lower ranges for full scale. You can also choose auto ranging mode to allow MIDAC to pick the appropriate range based on the measured current. I'll begin by demonstrating how not to make the measurement. So this is incorrect technique. It's a pretty common mistake where you simply connect the probes directly across the item of interest. The light goes out, meaning that all the current is actually getting diverted through the meter and does not flow through the light bulb anymore. So it's a completely inaccurate measurement. Instead, what we want to do is make the ammeter part of the circuit. So I'm now inserting the ammeter in series with the light, with the light. And at this point it looks like we're reading 0 0.056 amps. Notice that we're not really using very much of the full scale value. FS means full scale. Let's switch that to the 200 milliamp range. This gives us a little bit more accuracy, 55.6 milliamps. If you go to a, a range that's too small, you just get the over indicator. All right, that takes care of the demonstration of the ammeter.